fun with the ugly truth, shall we? <laughs> I don't know how to sugarcoat this, so I'm not gonna. No one gives a fuck about you until you actually make them. Yes. I'm talking about in this online world. Your family? Some, yes, some, no. I don't know anything about yours. Mine is a little bit fucked up in all sorts of different ways, and I'm not going to say they don't care, but I don't know how to finish that sentence. <laughs> and your family may or may not be, like, you know, super tight. For me, some of my best, dearest friends in the world, they are far more important and supportive than my brothers ever were, for example. But in this online world, no one cares about you until you make them. And the way you make them care is by, one, you have to actually put it out there. You know, you, you gotta... You gotta take it from being in your head and being in your on paper in your office or in your little corner of your house or in some notebook or journal. You have to actually put it out there. After that, you have to put it out there in... Well, you're gonna start with scripts. I don't know you, but you're probably gonna start with someone's scripts and heaven help you if you don't graduate from the understanding that the scripts are holding you back. You must make a departure from all of the generic, scripted, normalized stuff that everybody else is doing because so many people are offering you scripts as if they will help. They won't. No one cares about that, especially if they've seen it before. And it won't take them very long before they start to see that stuff elsewhere. So, you put it out there, you use your stupid scripts because you don't know any better and people are telling you to. And then you gradually wake up to the understanding that you have to do it in a unique way because that's the way to capture people's attention and hold it. Afterwards, they start to get that you are different. You actually are choosing to be your own. And when you're doing that, either you're compelling or you're not. If you're not compelling, it's because you haven't learned how to make compelling content that allows people to get why your stuff is so special. Once you learn that, then they get why you're so special and they start to pay attention to what you're up to and you give them the space to convince themselves of what your value is and why it is necessary. At which point, you can then have a comfortable, happy discussion with them that is not based on selling them anything because you have already allowed them to pre-qualify themselves to step up to your work. All of that other salesy horseshit, and you know what I'm talking about because it's out there from the highest level. People who are doing this at a very, very high level are still using that convincing, manipulative crap. I'm telling you there's a better way. I've been doing that my whole life. I may look young, I hope I look young, but I'm very possibly as old or older than you. I don't know. And yet I've been doing this, this way with everything that I want to do the way I want to do it, working with whom I want on my own terms as best as I possibly can since 1987. It's because I don't want to be one of them. The manipulative, salesy, 
crappy people who make you feel like when you get off a call with them, you need a shower. What I want you to understand, and let's just put this back to where it began, no one cares about you until you actually make them take notice, allow them the space to convince themselves, and give them every opportunity to approach you so that you can actually assist them. Does this make sense? I hope so. I'm glad we had this talk. See you later.